Okay, we finished our website. Now we're ready to put it up on the internet. So the first thing we have to do is go ahead and log into Freehostia, which I have done here. And the next thing we want to do is, you can see there is my domain name down there. I want to go into hosted domains. So click on that. And then here is my um, regular domain name. And what I want to do is want to create a subdomain. You have up to 15 subdomains, so we'll just keep using them. I need to come up here and click on create subdomain. And then here I'm going to put Stewie. Uh, I'm going to try doing Stewie. I already did this once and just deleted it. So let's see what happens when I try to add it back. Oh, good. Okay, so it allows me to do it again. If I click down here, I can see now that Stewie is a subdomain of the Tom Brady Club. Now I need to go ahead and put my files up into Freehostia. So if I come up here, I can click on files and then go down to file manager and click on that. You can, if you wanted to, if you were used to it before using FTP, you can use an FTP account and that opens it up. So it looks like you're using a file manager only, but I find this is just as easy. So when we look down into what we have already in our file manager, every time you create a subdomain, it creates a folder with that name. So there is my Stewie one. This is our normal or regular domain name. So the next thing I want to do is uh, go into this folder so I can go ahead and copy my files into it. So I come over here and I double click on it. And that brings me in and you know you're in because it says empty folder so next thing I want to do is go into my Windows file manager and bring up my website all right so here is my file manager here is my assignment 3 folder inside there is my first web when I click on first web it's going to show me that I have images index Stewie HTML Stewie's dot CSS and underscore Stewie um, CSS. Notice, and this is really important, everything is all lowercase, no spaces. If this is a capital I, and then in your index.html, you use a small i, it's going to work on Windows, but it's not going to work on the internet, because the index right here, we're going to be using a Linux server, and it will not allow, it does not um, translate a big eye into a small eye. And that's one of the reasons why no matter what you're doing, especially with images, because sometimes you bring an image in from Facebook and it's got a bunch of numbers on it. And, or you might have a picture sitting on your computer that has spaces in it, all lowercase, no spaces. All right. So I'm going to drag this over. Now it's important as I drag it over, if that empty folder disappears, and so far it has not, but there we go. So as long as I can see empty folder, I'm okay. At a certain point though, it's going to disappear right there. <laughs> and now I can't drag my files into it. So you want to make sure that if you're putting these side by side, make sure that you can see that empty folder slot. Now I'm going to take my files and move them off a little bit to the side and what i want to do is select these and many ways you can do it um, you can click on one and then hold down the shift key and click on the top one and that will select them all or you can click on one hold down the control key and click on each one individually or you can Go underneath all of them, hold down your left mouse button, and drag up, selecting all of them. So any way you want to select them. And then you're going to take these files. Now that are selected, I'm going to click anywhere in this blue area, hold down my left mouse button, and drag to the right. And you can see that the five things are coming with, four folders, four files and a folder. And then when I get down to here, and I'm over this, it's going to turn peach. And you can see it says move underneath. When you get that peach color, you can let go of your left, left mouse button 
and bang 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 it's going to transfer all your files to here what you don't want to do and this happens a lot when students are starting out is you don't want to drag first web to here because that's putting a folder inside a folder you want just the files inside the uh, stewie.brady if you don't when you go to stewie.tombrady.club uh, it's just going to show you that fold it's going to, well, it's going to show you a um, it's going to show you that there's a folder there but it's not going to show you the web page so again when you're looking at it make sure it looks just like this you need to see an index page inside that stewie folder all right well now i want to go see what it looks like on the internet so i'm simply going to go up click on my or mouse over my domains and go back to hosted domains and i'm going to scroll down to where my domains are and again you can't see stewie here so i'm just going to hit this little arrow and it's going to show me my subdomains this little double box thing is going to allow me to copy the address for stewie.tombrady.club so when i click on it you can see that green copy to clipboard shows up and now i'm ready to go ahead and see if this is actually going to work so i need to go and click on the new tab button that brings up an empty tab and then i'm going to right mouse click and come down to where it says paste and go to Stewie. If you do paste, then you have to press enter, but you can just do this. And there's my Stewie page. Now that's not really the Stewie page. That's my index page. And if you remember, we put a link on there to the Stewie page. So now when I click on that link, it's gonna take me to my Stewie page. And then if I click on home, it will take me back okay there's another thing i want to show you let's go to the stewie page and <clears throat> actually it's not yeah and then i want you to click up here in the address once and then a second time uh, well and then copy this so stewie.tombrady slash stewie.html so i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to look for a website and i forgot to bring the thing with me uh, so go into Google and type M I responsive responsive M I responsive and the first one that comes up is this one right here that's a M I M I dot responsive design dot is so we'll just click on that link it's going to open up this site right here and we're going to be using this site in the next lesson but if i come down here and click into this box and then paste it's going to put in my address to huey stewie and then when i click go it's going to show me what it looks like on all these devices and you can see remember we made it flexible so that on big screen it looks like this and then on laptop it looks like this and then it's still looking good on a tablet now when we get to the phone you can see that this is not messed this is messed up the thing that's not working really is the header but when we get down to a phone we're going to have some problems with the aside and the article also so in the next, next lesson we're going to actually take a look at that and uh, fix this site first so it fits into that last thing in order to do that we're going to have to use something called media queries and i really don't want to do that on our first lesson so we'll do that next week but for now if your site comes up and looks like this well you're doing pretty good all right everything looks good except phone and phone is a little bit more difficult for us to do all right and that's it and we'll go on to the next week